Good afternoon, YouTube. Got the bike stash there just off the Canyon Trail, which is down there. So you've got the North American plate over here. The trail is on the San Andreas Fault. And then this is this tectonic block that broke off from the North American plate and moved downhill and has been kind of sliding that direction as the earthquake fault moves. I came down the ridge from up above and I ended up way up on the top there. There's actually a little valley up in here. And this week I wanted to come back and I thought what would work is if I just came up to this little saddle that I showed you on the map. And there's a big chunk of the block up there. There's a saddle and then there's a like another chunk of the tectonic block down there. And I just pulled off here and I found another trail right here that goes right up where I want to go. So I guess I'm not the only one that had the same idea. Okay, yeah, last week I got up to the top of that ridge there. Anyway, from up there I saw this little trace. This is probably a trace of the San Andreas Fault right through here. And again, if there was water up here, this would be a pond. Problem is this is on top of a ridge basically so there's no way you could get any water in here let's head up here there's actually some grassy meadows up here that i saw on uh, google earth and i now have on the uh, hillshade map i also did the aerial view okay yeah last week i stopped up on the top of that ridge and there was that long nose of the ridge came down to the saddle and then just starting right after that saddle there's a big grassy meadow up here the little trail i followed came through over there probably a game trail to get over you know the deer getting over here so i'm going to follow this this meadow goes a ways you can see it goes down there and around the corner but yeah we'll we'll head on down here and see what's around the corner Okay, so the meadow was running off down in that direction and the sound of the creek was getting pretty loud. I'm pretty sure right along the creek it's a really steep drop off. So I figured going that way down would just get me into some place I'd have to back up. So I came up to the ridge here and yeah, this is just like the, the block on the other side. You get up on this ridge and it's just wide open. So yeah, I'm going to keep going that way and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I've been coming down the ridge here. There's a steep drop off over there right down to the canyon trail. And you can see that right here. I mean, it's way the heck down there. It's kind of tricky terrain because it'll open up like this and you'll think, okay, let's go. And then you can see right down there, it gets all brushy again. And it just kind of teases you. <laughs> it's like, come on a little farther, a little farther. Maybe I'll try going down. There it looks like there's another little clearing down there. But yeah, I think I might try a little farther and then I gotta make a call on the time because I've got to probably turn around here pretty soon. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to call it here. There's a steep drop off right there and the little ridge I've been following just gets really narrow, really steep, and I don't see any clearing. Although you can see the water. You can see the shine of the water down there. It's like really close. That's just if I can make it down there, I can hike back the trail, which would be a lot faster. And there's also a little bit of a easier slope up there a ways. Kind of swing around and catch the trail up there. See, so yeah, I think that's the crossing at Table Mountain down there. Ah, man, yeah, maybe uh, maybe I need to go just a little bit farther and see if I can see a clear way to the bottom Because right here. I just can't see far enough So maybe I'll go a few more a few more yards and see if the view opens up at all Okay, yeah, I bailed on that ridge over there It was just getting too overgrown and it was so steep that I wouldn't be able to get back up so I came back up here and I've been following a little game trail it's like if you ever get in, get in trouble up here, just look for a game trail to get down. I just got to get down to here and then across and then the canyon trail is just 
just through there. I've looked at this ridge here quite a few times and you can see what looks like little trails going up here. And yeah, this is a little game trail. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop down there and work my way over to the canyon trail. Okay, yeah, just wanted to show you where I came out here. So here's the junction of the canyon trail goes up that way. This is the little cutoff that goes over to the Table Mountain Trail. And then this goes up to the Grizzly Flat Trail Junction. So it's not too far. It's just this ridge right here. And you just kind of zigzag up there, follow the game trail. So yeah, you come out right here and then all I have to do is hike back up. There's a couple of climbs and then I'll be back at the bike and then I'll be riding back this way in a, <laughs> probably 15 minutes. So yeah, that, that worked out pretty well. Yeah, you could probably get up right here too. Yeah, there's a lesser slope right in here. It's not so steep. I was up a little farther and it was like really steep drop. But if there's kind of a bowl here, so you can probably go up anywhere along here. Although I would probably come down, even though it's less steep slope, there was a couple of spots where there was like a tree across the trail. And it wasn't just a step over tree. It was kind of like, get down on the tree, sit on it, swing your legs over, and then slide down the tree onto the ground. So it was, it was still pretty darn steep. I wouldn't want to climb up there. So yeah, I'm gonna head up the trail here, grab my bike, and then come back down. So I think it's roughly 17 miles to where I parked from home. So it'll be a 34 mile bike ride and then probably, oh, a half a mile of uh, hiking. I'll see if I recorded the track or not. I, I may not have, <laughs> but yeah, pretty neat. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that little hike. So this was my first loop hike of the season. But yeah, I've got to head up this way, get on my bike, and then we've got to get out of here before sundown. I guess you're supposed to be out of here 30 minutes after sundown. Last week I was about 10 minutes after sundown. It was kind of neat riding out with, uh, it was getting dark, but yeah, I wouldn't want to get stuck up here 30 minutes after sundown. It'd be pretty pitch black. I will sign off here. Hope you enjoyed that hike. Stay tuned for more videos like that. We'll probably be doing more in the coming months. And as always, Thanks for watching.